In this video, we're going to learn how to create these unique retouching techniques for thumbnails. And for this, we will have Mr. Beast himself as a reference. So without wasting any time, let's jump straight into it. So let's start with analyzing Master Beast's thumbnails, how they look and what are the special techniques that we can notice which make his thumbnails pop. Number one, you will find all his thumbnails have a very strong visual story. Number two, a bright and strong colors. And the most iconic thing you can notice in his thumbnails is his way of editing the face, making the dodge and burn effect. It's a special style effect. So let's try to mimic the retouching effects into his face in our video. Let's go. So we will use this image for our effect in this video. And you will find this image into the link in the description so that you can follow along with me. So first Firstly, we will start with basic adjustments using filter, camera raw filter. So basically, I'm what I'm going to do with camera raw filter is just increase the exposure to make it bright, increase the contrast, decrease the highlight to get some details from the absolute highlights and maybe make the shadows brighter, increase the whites and maybe make the blacks more black. And next we will go to texture, add a little bit of texture and some touch of Clarity would help. Basically what I'm trying to do now is to make his face pop more. Maybe increase the vibrance a little bit and then press OK. Let's see. Here is before and here is after. Very nice. Let's create a solid color in the background because I don't like this white background. Something like this will help and put it into the background. All right, let's go to retouching. Firstly, we'll get rid of any blemishes or any weird colors in his skin. And for this, I will use the spot healing tool. And let's see, in this image, we don't have a lot of blemishes, just small touches in his skin, maybe some strains of hair and hair in his beard. So let's see here is before and here is after. Very nice. Let's create a clipping mask. And the next step, we are going to brighten his eye and brighten his teeth as hell. I'll do this using a hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's just create a hue saturation adjustment layer, decrease the saturation and increase the brightness. Something like this. And let's press Ctrl I to invert the mask. And using the brush, we will just paint over these areas and we can of course get back to the adjustment layer later and decrease the opacity or increase the brightness or anything using the soft edges i'll just fade these edges that's very nice in his eye we will do the same thing using the hard rounded brush but with the same layer so let's just do it So let's see here is before and here is after. Very nice. Another thing you will notice Mr. Beast is doing is to soften his skin a lot. So we can do this by simply duplicating all this, press Ctrl J and then press Ctrl E to merge it into a separate layer. And then let's create a clipping mask to the layer. And let's go to filter, neural filters. And we have here a special filter that is called skin smoothening. We can increase the effect from here, increase the smoothness and the blur, then press OK. And let's see, here's before and here's after. Of course, this is too much, so let's just create a, a mask. Press Ctrl I to invert the mask and using the soft rounded brush, we can paint over the area that we want the effect to uh, appear on. It's a very subtle effect, but when we reveal it, so let's see before. And after that is way better before and after before and after next we will manipulate his eye because in all mr beast thumbnails the, his eye is very bright and greenish so let's go to hue saturation create a hue saturation adjustment layer press colorize and let's choose some green color like this make saturation high and make it bright as well we can always get back to it and reduce its intensity press double click into the layer and now we want to remove this effect from the very dark areas like his eye pupil so let's just remove it like this and press alt to split the cursor to remove the effect gradually something like this and then press ok then press ctrl i to invert the mask and using the solid color rounded brush i will just paint over his eye so something like this 
this. Of course, that is very, very bright. So what we want to do now is to decrease the brightness, decrease the saturation, because we don't want him to look like a vampire. That is very nice. Now let's go to the most interesting part, which is dodging and burning. So what, what the hell is dodging and burning? So let me just use this sphere to explain what is dodging and burning. I will do dodging and burning using curves, do whatever the way you like. Some people do it using these dodge and burn tools. Some people use this uh, solid color, do whatever you want. But the main concept is that we have a layer to increase the brightness in some spots and another layer to decrease the brightness to make the image darker in some spots. So let's create a curves adjustment layer, increase the brightness like this and then Press Ctrl I to invert the masks and let's name this dodge and let's create another curves adjustment layer and make it dark like this. Create a clipping mask and let's name this bird. And of course, press Ctrl I to invert the mask. So this is a sphere or a circle. We don't know. This is just a flat surface. What gives it interest is lighting and the intensity of lighting define its shape and its form so what is dodging and burning is doing is just increase the form increase the three dimensionality of an object so for example is if i use this burn layer let's just decrease the flow of the brush let's choose a soft rounded brush make it like bigger like this and then we created some shadows and using the dodge, we created some highlights. Now it looks more like a sphere because we give it form. But if you look at his face, he already has form. What we will try to do in dodging and burning is to boost this form, to make it more sphere. So we will go to the dodge layer and increase the intensity of the shadow. And sometimes we can create different levels of shadow. So let's just create another curves adjustment layer and create another darker level of shadow and let's go to the dodge layer we can paint over this area to give it some extreme highlights like this and maybe some rim lights over here so uh, what i'm trying to do now is to boost the three-dimensionality of an object that is dodging and burning all right i know i know you might be bored right now what about making something new? So let me pause the tutorial, go all the way to the end of the retouching and then get Mr. Beast back here to use his final image to create the rest of the thumbnail design. I'll do this using Kittle. What? You don't know what is Kittle? Man, you are missing a lot. Kittle is a one-stop shop design software for beginners equipped with everything you need to create your own products. With a massive library of premium templates, and I mean it, really premium templates, which are ready to use. A big library of graphic elements, fonts, illustrations, premium photos, and AI tools. So let's jump in Kittle and see how can we proceed in our thumbnail design. So as you can see right now, we have access to a lot of categories social media cards, posters, t-shirts, labels, mockups, etc. But we will go to thumbnails. So let's just browse the thumbnails. There are a lot of actually great thumbnails right here that are fully customizable. So for our theme, I guess we can use this gaming thumbnail. Let's open it. And it's really piece of cake in terms of editing the thumbnail. Here's what I will do. Select this guy, press delete to delete it. Go to uploads and upload your own image so let me choose this mr beast image and then just drag it and drop it right here make it bigger and what about removing the background i'll just do this pressing into ai background remover and it's one of the best ai removers i have ever seen it's really doing a great job as you can see right now let's make him bigger that is very nice now let's change the text master make it smaller change the color and maybe i can make it wavy from here and then i can change its shape like this that's great one two three 
What about adding some elements? I'll go to this element section and here you can find anything you want, literally. So for example, let me write Photoshop and boom, you have the logo of the Photoshop. So let me drag it and put it right here. Actually, I can use this as a thumbnail for my video. That's very nice. We may dislike this thumbnail and we want to create another option from it from scratch. So using this artboard tool, we can just create an art board and let's write here the perfect size and for this one I have an idea let's go to images and let's type here ocean that's very nice let's bring this image put it right here now I'm thinking about creating a new creature in which I will combine a shark with a lion so let's go to the kettle AI and let's describe what we want so a shark in the shape of lion that's very nice and let's define the style this photography style press generate and let the fun begin oh man look at this looks fantastic <laughs> all right so let's remove the background using the ai background remover that is really really nice now let's just type here a shark remove the background put him here let's generate and lion that's perfect let's put him here Let's go to the elements and let's type here plus. Yeah, I know it, it's that easy. And let's bring it and put it right here. And yeah, it's that easy and it has so much more features like textures, great library of textures, great library of text in which you can, for example, get this one, Let me get it and make it smaller and let's change it to monster creation that's very nice you can customize it you can do a lot of tweaks but i guess the, that is a cool thumbnail what do you think check out kettle from the link in the description and use promo code NURARTYT. that gives you 25 percent discount on the first month of the monthly pro plan for all new users i guess that's enough and let's get back to retouching that is dodging and burning so we will try to do this in his face using the same technique of course, this, this needs a lot of practice actually to get it because when you start dodging and burning, you start doing uh, the flow very high like this and start putting some uh, lights like this, which is ruining the main form of an object. So we, win we want to be careful. We want to take our time to create this effect. So let's start by creating curves adjustment layer, decrease the brightness like this. And because the curves just change the color of the face. So let's just change its blending mode into luminosity. So I'm now just affecting on the brightness of the image. Let's name this burn press ctrl i to invert the mask and create another curves adjustment layer boost the highlights and then let's name this dodge and of course press ctrl i to invert the mask and let's start doing the dodging and burning by the burning let's decrease the flow of the brush to something maybe 10 percent or something and let's see yeah this is nice so i'm now i will now try to uh, paint the shadow into the areas that should have shadows and some highlights into the areas that should have lights okay this is basically uh, needs a, a lot of practice actually and maybe I can speed up the process of this part That's very nice. Let's go to the dodge layer and let's do the same thing. I'll try to make the brush bigger. Try to paint some highlights into the areas that should have lights. Do your best to blend the effect nicely, toggling between the white and black uh, by pressing X into the keyboard. Try to fade the edges to give it the form that you
So yeah, here is after dodging and burning. Here is before and here is after. The image is now popping more. It's more 3D and it has this Mr. Beast style. Next, we will go to the color correction of the skin. And for this, I will just use a selective color adjustment layer. Let's create a clipping mask and let's manipulate the colors of the skin. It's mainly manipulating the colors of the reds. So let's add some red to the reds and add some greens as well, which will make the image more like yellowish color because adding red and green increase the yellows. And we can also increase the yellows. Maybe we can play around with the lightness, make it a little bit brighter, something like this. So let's see before, after, before and after. That's nice. The next step, I will change the colors of his shirt. And for this, I will just use the gradient map tool because gradient map gives me more depth when i'm trying to change the color of anything so let's choose maybe some orange color into the shadows and some yellowish colors into the highlights something like this so this is basically the colors that i want to be in his shirt right here it's okay and then press Control i to invert the mask and simply using the hard rounded brush i'll just paint over his shirt that's very nice let's add some doja and burn to his shirt that is very nice one final thing i like to do is to paint some rim lights into the edges and for this i will just start by creating a new solid color adjustment layer so let's just duplicate this background by pressing Control J and change its color to some very vivid color, something like this. And then press OK. Press Control I to invert the mask and using the soft rounded brush with 100% flow with the white color, I will make the brush bigger and give it a touch like this. And then let's press Control T, make it bigger and put it behind Mr. Beast, something like this. And to draw the, the rim lights, I there are a lot of ways. So the easiest way is to simply press double click into the layer, create an inner glow effect, something like this. Increase the size of the brush. Maybe increase the chalk and then press OK. And then right click, create layer, and then press OK. This is basically turning this inner glow style and putting it into a separate layer and let's put it above everything double click into the layer and remove the effect from the absolute darks something like this to add realism and then press ok and we can also manipulate the shape of this using maybe the smudge tool or something increase intensity but i don't like this way it's easy but it's not professional it's not giving the effect that I want although it's somehow good but the way I'm doing the highlights is by simply drawing them that's it there's no secret here let's just create a solid color choose the light press ok create a clipping mask change the blending mode maybe into screen and then press ctrl i to invert the mask and using any textured brush you can find online something maybe like this i will use the pressure sensitivity in the graphic tablet from here and i will just paint the highlights the rim lights like this simple as this so let's just try to paint it with lower flow of the brush and maybe press r to root and, and press to rotate the canvas something like this and then try to paint the rim lights something like this Yeah, that's it. Maybe we can change the blending mode of these rim lights into linear dodge. That is more epic. So let's see here is before and here is after. So let's see a comparison. Here is the first one, the easy one. And this is the second one, 
the more detailed and that needs a lot of practice actually. And if you want to know how to paint light and shadow precisely, I have a full video. You'll find it in the link in the description in which I explained everything related to painting highlights. So let's see, here is before and here is after all the effects. All right, guys, I hope you benefited and most importantly, have fun. If you want to know how to create amazing advertising designs like these step by step, my course, The Ultimate Guide to Photo Manipulation is now released and you can find it in the link in the description. You'll find also all the stock images used, the PSD files and all the brushes used. Don't mess it. And if you want to know how to paint light and shadow precisely, you can check it in this video. Peace.